Hey there, Wes here, back with another record collecting update. Well, uh, recently scored a couple boxes of records. I uh, keep my eye out on Craigslist for people advertising records. And somebody advertised that they had two boxes of records that they wanted to trade for either a turntable or some cash. And just so happens I had an extra turntable laying around, wanted to get rid of it, and thought it'd be fun to trade it for a couple boxes of records. So I got them here. Uh, there's a lot of junk. There's some good stuff in here. I'm, I'm happy with the trade. We got some good stuff, some interesting stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and show it off. There's a lot here, so I might have to break this up into a two different videos possibly, but let's try and get through this. Um, first up, another copy of Carol King's Tapestry, another one of those, I have to figure out which one I have is best. Um, another copy of Kansas too for the show, I've had this for quite some time, I'm pretty, pretty big Kansas fan, I like the live stuff. Uh, next up we have The Myths and Legends of King Arthur by Rick Wakeman. Uh, I don't have this one, so it'll be interesting to hear that. Uh, next up, Donna Summer, The Wanderer. Don't really know much about that one. And here's a share album. Um, I guess it's just self-titled. I don't know what this has on it. I don't recognize any of the titles, but maybe when I listen to it, I'll recognize some of the songs. Uh, Charlie Daniels Band, Million Mile Reflections. I had this one already also. This is the one that has, has uh, Devil Went Down to Georgia on it. So, very common album. And actually, I have George Benson, Give Me the Knife. Give me, give me the night. <laughs> Sorry. I like George Benson, good, good jazz music. And next up we have George Benson and Earl Blue. Another nice jazz album. Good, good lesson to that. George Benson Breezin, which I already have, of course. This is the most popular one. And next up we have Alabama, The Closer You Get. Which has that title track on it. I do like Alabama. There's very little country I like, but Alabama is one of those groups that I do like. Another Alabama, Mountain Music. Just the same thing. Title track is the popular one here. Uh, next one, Barry Manilow. This one's for you. That'll, that'll get maybe listen to once, <laughs> maybe for 10 seconds. and get rid of that. I don't think that would like very well. Chuck Mangione. This is... Feels so good. I don't know about that either. Something I'll have to listen to and see if I like or not. I really listen to it. And Madonna's True Blue. I do like Madonna, so nice to get some of this on vinyl. Interesting to have. And Madonna, Who's That Girl soundtrack. Remember, I hated this song when it came out because everybody would taunt me with it for some reason. <laughs> Just one of those songs that people use to taunt people with, I guess. Uh, an Earl Clue soul, soul album here. Wishful Thinking. A shot. Barbara Streisand, Superman. It's pretty cool. I like the album cover anyway. It's pretty neat. And we have Diana Ross. Diana. Interesting album cover there. And we have Diana Ross, last time I saw him. This is 
Oak Ridge Boys, Bobby Sue. I don't know. I'm not really a fan of Oak Ridge Boys, but I'll probably give this a listen to just to see what it's about. And we have Oak Ridge Boys, Greatest Hits, Volume 2. Another one I just give a listen to. Fancy Free, the Oak Ridge Boys. Um, I don't think there's a record in here. And there's not even a record in this one, so I guess I won't be listening to that. I can go in the garbage probably. Uh, the Best of Michael Martin Murphy. Don't know much about this. Looks like it could be good. Some of the song titles sound pretty neat. Tronos, Cadillac, Cherokee Fiddle. Interesting. Liza Minnelli, the singer. They're so vain. Interesting. <laughs> like I said, a lot of bad stuff in here. But there's some good stuff too. Henry Mancini, Pure Gold. Um, got Moon River on here. I don't know. I don't think so. Barry Manilow's Greatest Hits. And again, I don't think so. Barry Manilow 1. Um, that's alright. Warder, well, a war, greatest hits. It's pretty cool, even like war. A fun one. Don't really have that one yet. And Stevie Wonder's Inner Visions. Surprisingly enough, I don't have this one yet, so it's a good one to add to the collection. Uh, there's more popular albums. And yes, 90215. Donna Summer, Live and More. I guess it's a live album. Donna Summer, self titled. Donna Summer Collector's Edition, the best of 1977 to 1980. Lots of Donna Summer here. Billy Joel, Piano Man, I already have it. It's a big deal. Stevie Wonder, Songs in the Key of Life. Another one that I didn't have that I need to have. And it does have a 7 inch as well. It goes with it. Billy Joel, The Stranger, another one I already have. Rick Wakeman's Criminal Record. Don't know much about this. Like I said in the past videos, Rick Wakeman was the keyboardist for Yes. Valdi and the Hometown Band. Never heard of this at all, so. Looks like a Canadian band, possibly. Never heard of it. Rick Wakeman, White Rock. No Rick Wakeman, a lot of those in here. There's a Waylon Jennings album. Old Waylon, I guess it's called. Yeah, Old Waylon. Much about that. Another Earl Clue, Life Stories. A lot of Earl Clue in here. Somebody was a jazz fan. There's another Earl Clue, Dream Come True. It's going to be interesting to hear all these Earl Clue albums. Really, really be able to get a sense for who he is as an artist. I haven't really given him much thought ever, so it'll be interesting. Um, Earl Clue Keynotes. Clue, late night guitar. 